Whoa, hey there, my fellow Tarhans. I'm Captain Beans, and welcome to part 3 of War Criminal 2. Basically, a nuke only campaign where the only thing I can use to kill anything is a nuclear missile. Because, let's face it, war crimes are funny if you're the one doing it to the enemy. But if the enemy does the war crime to you, that may not be such a good thing. But, never mind that, let's begin. So, I'm located in Zemaraim, which is a fleet headquarters. And if I'm not mistaken, I got a bunch of these A100N missiles. Which is a good thing. These are very useful, not just to commit the mass war crimes, but also to intercept enemy missiles so that enemies do not commit the war crime on you. What the fuck? Oh, that was my ship. So I think. I'm just going to refuel enough so that I can reach Kailach, this fuel storage. And from Kailach, I'm going to move north, northwest, precisely. And on the way, I'm going to look for hidden cities. But there is a fleet headquarters somewhere north of there, which I'll just show you. Yeah, right. So here's Kailach, the fuel storage, where we're going to head in just a moment. And then over here, I'll look for hidden cities. I'll probably land in Um, but it's not 100% confirmed. And from there, I will head to Nahor to the fleet headquarters and try to take this one of course without damaging the actual city because it's a fleet headquarters these should be preserved but um and kelach yeah just launch a missile at it who cares so let's refuel and let's go Oi, oi, oi. Уже получаю сигналы РТР. А кто это может быть? Хм. So that strike group is not there. Let's keep searching. Oh. Oh wow. That strike group is located at Dedan. Wait. Are they landing in Dedan? Or are they just flying past Dedan? Oh no, they're flying past. They're flying straight at me. I do not like that. Okay. But no worries. I always have a good surprise for them. Alright, so the missile has found the strike group. As you can see, it changed course, so... Uh, should I send another one? I don't know. We'll see. If this one kills the strike group, that would be good. Oof. 
They're dead. But they're not so dead. Alright. Let's send another missile. Okay, cool. We've just defeated another strike group. <laughs> That's nice. And I have fuel to head to Kalach. And so let's set course. war crime of this part. Wait. Wait, was one missile enough? Oh. <laughs> I guess one missile was enough, so... Oh, it's a trading vessel. Most likely. Okay, we're good. I was almost scared for a second. I thought that was a missile. But actually, if you think about it, if a missile was incoming, then it would have a pretty big IRST signal. But whatever. Alright, let's refuel and... Well, we'll see if... We can reach Nahor from here. Why does that message always scare me? <laughs> Legit. Oh shit. It's a trading vessel that's really close. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think it would be a good idea to keep the radar on. I'm fairly certain there isn't any strike group near where I'm at. But, of course, it's always nice to have the radar turned off. Just so that you're not literally telling every single strike group in the vicinity that you're here. And the son of Saidi Al-Sahir wants to talk to me, apparently. Oof. I have just enough fuel to reach Nahor, but I kind of want to search for hidden cities, because I would like to get the free stuff from there, which I can sell and get money. But I also feel like... It would be better to take Nahor, simply because I would only use one missile, or a couple of missiles, and then I would get like a bunch more. Yeah. Let's, let's search for hidden cities, why not? So the next destination will be Um. Yeah, speaking of, let's get out of here.
There you go, hidden people. Nice, we found them. Which, it's kind of ironic. They're not really hidden people anymore. So, okay. What sort of free stuff did I get? Oh, I only got some sprint systems. I think I'm gonna keep the sprint systems, but these KH-15P missiles, I'm gonna sell them because I cannot use them. Regular missiles are not welcome in this campaign. Only the funny type of missile. Well then. I don't think there's really much of a point in staying for a long time with the hidden people. So let's head to Um. And from there I'll get a bunch of fuel. And I will take Nahor. Is this event oh that's the one with the coda yeah okay I see all right so I've captured boom and the next thing is to capture Nahor now I have no idea if there is a tactical or a strike group nearby. I just realized that missile carrying group is here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. And speaking of, this is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to send a group of ships specifically to kill that missile carrying group and I'm also going to send a missile into Keberet so that I can get some intel before I head into Nahor and also you can see further north we have missile and aircraft carriers which is not so nice so right I'm gonna send the tanker, the wasp, and should I send the silo or should I send the R3N carrier? No, I'm not going to send the R3N ca carrier. I'm going to need those R3N missiles for late later in the game. Alright, so the missile carriers in Narad are there, and so because of that, I'm going to send a missile after them. A missile or two. Let's send another one, just to be sure that these guys are dead.
And also I wanted to send a missile into Kebret. So let's send the jelly and the fast tanker into there. There's another one. Alright, what about Kebret? That garrison is still alive. Alright, I've taken Kebret. Um, I think I'll be more interested in tactical groups. Let's search strike groups as well, why not? Okay, there is one heading to me. It's Elbrus. Alright. Let's let's go take Nahor. Okay, so it appears as if something has left the town. Probably a traitor, but I don't know. So, let's get the tanker into Nahor. And let's do this operation. Holy shit, that's... That's a lot of them. Wow, this is probably going to take... Two missiles. Or even three to kill. But I think the return might be worth it. And so... Let's go, bitches! Take off, you motherfuckers. Come on. Anytime now. Oh, shit. Okay, they've taken off. So retreat. I know it's you, Elbrus. I know it's you. 
You're trying to... Trying to catch me. Wait, that's not Elbrus. That's Taimir. What the fuck? There's another strike group. Oh shit. I might have to be dealing with two. But what the fuck is that? Is that a missile? Ah. Uh... Oh shit, look at this. They're already sending missiles at me. Ah. Uh... I think that missile would probably miss. I think. Let's see. Yeah, that missile has missed. So, yeah, Daimir, El Bozo, you missed. Next thing I have to do is try to kill that strike group, the Daimir, the one that just tried to send a missile at me but failed miserably. Are they heading closer? Where the hell are they? Oh shit, that's the story. Okay. So let's do check faith and just for the sake of keeping morale I'm gonna do check Romani. Okay what the hell, where is that strike group? Where are they? Maybe I need to search a little bit more. Oh, finally I found them. Okay, you guys return back. And you motherfuckers are gonna die. Спасибо за информацию. <laughs> that missile just didn't want to die. It just came right into that nomad and just decided to destroy it. Now that is a missile that you can respect. Okay. So they're not sending any radar signatures just yet. Anymore. Yet. Hmm. Are they dead? You know what? Let's be sure they're fucking dead. Nice. Third strike group and with a nomad dead. And so I think that's going to be it for part three because I've done what I needed to do. Uh, I went to Nahor, taken it, and I have defeated two strike groups and a missile carrier. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and 
Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.